Diggle. 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 Please. Please calm down. No, no. Diggle, please calm down. Hello everyone, welcome to the Kim Wright YouTube channel and once again we have a Geek Gear unboxing. So, without further ado, Dougal calm down! Sorry, Dougal's been quite irate lately because, well, he kind of saw my new dragon from the last video. But uh, let's have a look see what um, stuff we've got here. Maybe there's something here that can calm me down. Let's see. Oh. Have I got this t-shirt already? Oh, wow! Check this out. So this is the image of the Patronus, the stag. And look at the detail on that stag. It's just absolutely brilliant. I think it looks pretty cool. I'm deaf. You might see me wearing this in another video, but this is pretty cool. I'm loving this. I mean, check out the detail of the antlers. Wow. They keep improving their t-shirts every single time. It's just absolutely brilliant. I'm finding it difficult to criticise them because they are just so good. Um, now, I think this is the special edition. Um, so they've sent me the special edition first and then they send me the, the new one. So we'll have to see what the new one looks like. Already there's some cool stuff in here. So this looks like this looks like it's from Hogsmeade, so let's open it and find out. Ah so I think yeah it's a, a little key ring but it's a key ring of the hog's head um, um, what's it called the sign in front of a pub the hog's head which is pretty cool I love the detail in it the detail is so cool let me hold it like that so you can see it it's just so cool and it says on the bottom hog's head which is just absolutely brilliant that this is pretty cool I'm loving this uh, We've got poster. Oh, wow. Uh oh. I've got too many of these as it is. I've got another travel mug here. Just make sure it's not damaged. No, it's pretty good. It's weird how these. This is quite. I think it's meant to be metal plastic. It's weird, it's got a funny smell to it. It's like a plasticky kind of smell. But this is pretty good. So this is a merchandise. Um, and it's all aboard the Hogwarts Express, London to Hogwarts. Perfect for when the children are going back to school, which is brilliant. I think this is actually pretty cool. This is quite impressive for an April special edition, which is good. Good. Okay. Okay, so this looks like... What's the bookstore called? Bogger, uh, Bogger and something or other. Um, but this is in a box that's very similar to the bookstore, which is quite good. Oh, and the other one had the hog's head, which is how I could tell that this was connected. So in the first one, Ah, so you know sometimes it's missing, it's missing the top charm bit, but you know sometimes in bookstores it's got science fiction this way. Well, I think this is meant to be charm books this way, which is pretty cool. I love the fact that the charms bit is detailed, so it's almost like a train sign, and you've got the little hand pointing that way, that way to charms, that way to charms, which is awesome, pretty cool, pretty cool, I'm loving everything that's coming out of it so far, got loads of confetti as well, now we've got another t-shirt here, oh, 
I was frowning because I didn't. Um, one sec. I was frowning because I wasn't a hundred percent sure what this reference was meant to be. Basically, it says technically it's a ferret. Now, if you remember in Goblet of Fire, spoiler, spoiler alert. alert, spoiler, spoiler alert. alert. Um, the uh, Grouch, the um, what we know as the David Tennant character. Um, who's uh, Barty Grouch, I think his name is, if I remember rightly. Barty Grouch Jr. Um, he was disguised as Moody throughout the whole of the Goblet of Fire. And he turned Malfoy famously into a ferret. I believe there was a line in there that said, oh, they turned him into a weasel. Well, technically it's a ferret. And this is where I think this quote comes from. You know, technically it's a ferret. Either that, or this is meant to be a, um, a Patronus again, like the stag. But I think because that looks like he's, sta it looks like he's on a rock. I think that's meant to be the reference to the Goblet of Fire rather than them rehearsing um, in Half-Blood Prince? Yeah, Half-Blood Prince, I believe. Yeah, Half-Blood Prince. Or was it Order of the Phoenix? Might have been Order of the Phoenix then, think about it. I need to read Harry Potter again. <gasps> oh my god! I want this. I want this framed. I want this framed. Check it out! It's a little baby Niffler! A baby Niffler! Cutie little baby Niffler! Niffler! Cute! Loving it! Loving it! Loving it! Loving it so much! And it's got... I think it's a Roman coin in his hand. I think it's a Roman coin. But he's not going to let it go for me, is he? Love it. Anything to do... I think Nifflers are my favourite mythological beasts. Next to... Not dragons. Oddly, oddly enough, the, the creature that often comes into my mind um, has got to be um, Aragorn, the um, spider, rather than Fluffy. I Fluffy, love Fluffy as well, because I think Fluffy is, is cool. And the three-headed dog, Cerberus, got to be that. But certainly beating that, the Niffler. The Niffler, ever since I saw it on Fantastic Beasts, there's something about it that made me go, that's my creature. I want that creature. And every time I get a Niffler, it's like, yes, yes, I got a Niffler. Got another Niffler. So that poster's gone straight up my happy list. Um, so now we've got a wand. As you know, when I do my wands, I like to try and guess um, who would have the wand or not. Actually, that reminds me, I'm actually owed um, a broken piece. Remember? The statue. Uh, I need to check whether that came from the special edition, and hopefully they haven't forgotten that, or whether it comes um, in the original. I think it's the original one. So, well, straight away I'm thinking Greek. Um, Certain, uh, it would be another one that I would say that Professor Dumbledore would have, um, just from the creature alone. Um, certainly anyone who looks after hippogriffs. And when I pull out the wand, you'll understand why. Bizarrely enough, um, Lucius Malfoy, I could imagine having a wand like this, because of the fact that it is, it's very grand, but it's quite basic as well. Do you know what? Quasi would have a wand like this as well because of the, the gargoyle-like texture to it. And who else would have this type of wand? I think anyone who has an emblem of um, an eagle um, and certainly royalty, I think, would also have this. Not Elsa. I don't think Elsa would have a wand like this. But certainly someone quite grand, quite quite um, up in the world. Maybe um, 
if you could push the idea to them, you could say that any one of the um, church, because they have all those gargoyles on the church, you would certainly say that this would be one of the... I'll bring it forward here. This would be one of the main high highlights of a one of um owning a wand like this bizarrely enough i'm thinking if hagrid had managed to um go forward with his studies rather than get expelled he would certainly want a wand with this type of design because he loves um the mythological creatures I would say Newt Scamander as well, but Newt Scamander, I kind of always pictured him as having not a hippogriff, but maybe a proper um, griffin. Oh, this is, is this a griffin? Oh, it is a griffin. So I'll, I'll rephrase that. Um, that he would probably have a wand um, like this. Um, the reason being is that I think he would be um, more of a, a griffin supporter rather than a hippogriff supporter. Although saying that, he is in Hufflepuff, so he might have had um, more of a hippogriff wand. But this certainly is, the detail alone on it, let me bring it forward for you, is absolutely, I could picture this being on that bit being on a castle and then being able to be pulled out if you went to a church and you hid your wand there that would be a brilliant disguise um and then the full wand coming out would be absolutely cool i've got nothing against religion whatsoever providing it's not getting shoved down my throat but awesome wand really awesome wand so let's have a look at its details so we have it's a gargoyle wand because it's got the gargoyle on it 13 and three quarter inches believable a hippogriff feather that's interesting and it's an ash wood hence the blackness which is our uh, Hippo uh, it's amazing that it's got a hippogriff um, feather, considering the gargoyle is designed to be like a griffin. And the reason I know that it's designed like a griffin is because hippogriffs are more horses rather than... Yeah, hippogriffs are more like horses, whereas griffins are more like lions, which is pretty... Which and the body, particularly the claws, is that of a lion rather than, and also he's got the lion's tail as well. So this is a griffin, but it's got a hippogriff's um, feather in it, which is quite interesting that they've got the two kind of together, which is off, which is pretty good, pretty awesome. Um, as always, we do this, but I do it half heartedly because I never win. Yep, yeah, no win. Didn't even get through and I can see that it's... I can see that it's not a no, a no win. So there's another no win there, which is pretty much what I expect. So let's do the checklist before I say which ones are my favourite. So, <clears throat> we have... I'm assuming that, the, so the title of the t-shirt is My Father Will Hear About This, which I'm assuming is meant to be this t-shirt here, which obviously doesn't say um, My Father Will Hear Of It, although he does say as he's running off, My Father Will Hear Of You Turning Me Into A Weasel Slash Ferret. So, again, the quote is there. Um, so, that's my assumption that the T-shirt, my father will hear about this, is from the weasel. Stag, the long sleeve stag T-shirt, 
which is this one right here, which is, I think, upside down. There we go. There we go. And it just says that it's a normal stag-like t-shirt. Licensed and exclusive A3 nipple print, which is my favourite! And I... It says it's a normal niffler, but I think that's more baby niffler. But that, don't care. Brilliant. Unique ones exclusive, the gargoyle wand, which is our dear friend here, which is brilliant. Uh, the wizardry bookstore sign, which is that one. Licensed and exclusive Hogwarts Express travel cup, which is this one. And a Hogwarts Head Pub Metal Hanging Sign, also known as the Pub Sign, which is this one right here, which is awesome. Yep, all present and correct. Wizardry Special Edition box, absolutely brilliant. Loving everything that came into it. Wonderful that it all came out absolutely fine. I think you can guess which one is my favourite. It's the Niffler poster. Always the Niffler poster. Very closely followed by the by the gargoyle wand because the wand is brilliant as well. So um, that's all the rambling from me. Um, so there's going to be um, a couple of videos that are going to come out. Um, I have a lot of work that I need to do, so there's going to be a few days where there's going to be a delay. There might be some weeks where I put two videos at once. Um, coming in May. We're going to have another edition of Taking the Bins Out with our dear friend, our dear new friend, the bunny, uh, Chester. He's going to be taking out the bins next month. Um, we've got some more Builder Bears. We've got an art project um, that if I get around to doing it, I will film. We've got some more jars that we need to complete. And there might be um, some vlogging as well, uh, depending on how I feel. That will depend. But until then, as always, stay safe, stay well, keep the magic in your fingertips, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.